Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today is going to be kind of a different video for me. I'm going to go back a few years and show you how I used to do my makeup before I started getting into actually doing makeup. So if you want to see how I used to look, just keep watching. But before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification as well to be notified when I upload new videos. So if you want to see what I used to look like before all this, just keep watching. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. So I am going to do a little bit of a show and tell with you and show you how I used to wear my makeup. But before I take half of my makeup off, I'm going to leave this side on because this is how I do it now. And I'm going to remove this part and show you my makeup routine that I used to use. So the reason I kind of started getting into makeup way late in life is I just found that I was in a rut. I was wearing the same makeup, which everything I wore is in this bag. I had to go out and purchase it again, but everything that I wore was in this bag. That's all I own. If it wasn't that, that I didn't have it. So simple as that. And I found myself wearing the same thing day in, day out. It was 20 some years had gone by. And what freaked me out one day was I always wore a gold eyeshadow. And they discontinued my gold eyeshadow that I loved. So that kind of threw me for a loop. And I found a replacement gold shadow. And then I thought, you know go and start looking for ways that I can do my makeup maybe a little bit different. So I started researching channels that were mature women. Chewy. No. No. Come here, baby. Come here. Chewy's trying to say hot heat on Come here, baby. This is Chewy, by the way. And if he doesn't get enough attention, he makes the weirdest little cry thing. So he was just starting to do that. Here, you put some lovely now. Are you happy? I can talk to him and he will still continue to cry. So until he can actually like come see me and touch me and everything, that's what he does. He gets a little separation anxiety. So anyway, back to the video. So I started looking for mature beauty channels so I could get some ideas on how I could do my makeup because I was in, you know, my fifties. And I was having a heck of a time. Maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough, but I kept coming across all these channels like, you know, Jacqueline Hill and Kat nights and people like that that were so young and they just did all these crazy things that I just no there's no way I want to do that so um, I started teaching myself a little bit how to kind of tone down the things that they did but I still watch their videos and to this day I still do now I'm also coming up on my two-year anniversary for having my first video on YouTube so my channel hasn't really grown very fast I've got a little over 1,500 subscribers, and that's fine with me. I'm just I'm glad you guys joined me, and hopefully I'm teaching you something new as well. So I just thought it would be fun to go back and show you what I used to do and how far I have come in just a few short years of changing out my makeup. So let me go ahead and take this off real quick, and then we will get started. All right, now that I have this side of my face off, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little cream. I used to use oil of Olay, and that was the only thing I would put on my face. I don't have any of that, so I have this cream that reminds me of it. So I'm gonna apply that to this side of my face. That's one thing I was always good about doing. Since my early 20s was going in with the moisturizer. Just the moisturizer. And I'd exfoliate with a buff puff. You guys ever use those? Remember them? They were kind of the egg shaped, big, rough sponge thing. But anyway, that's what I used to exfoliate. Was just, I used Dove Bar soap on my face. And I used oil one. So that was my beauty routine. Okay. This is kind of reminding me of the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup video. If you've never seen that, I will try to remember to leave a link to it down below or maybe right up here. 
Um, that was a very, very powerful video for me to see what makeup can actually do for somebody. So I'm going to be honest, I never used primer. I never used concealer. This was my foundation and it is the True Match Mineral Foundation. I haven't even opened it. And I did take up the color Soft Ivory, if you're wondering. So the way this worked is you screw the top off and inside was the little part that you peel back just in case you've never used it. There it goes Chewy again. And then you just simply, here's what I did. Chewy, come here. I would shake some out in there upside down. And then the top pops off. So this is your applicator. No, I didn't even own any makeup brushes or sponges. And you just simply dip that in there. And bump it into your face. I really shouldn't have earrings on while I do this. I don't remember if this was the exact color I was before. And as you need more, you just shake it in there. You get the idea. I don't think this was the color I used. This is way too light for me. So you're definitely going to be able to see the difference between the two sides. Okay, so that was my foundation that I did. Then I always went in with my eyebrow pencil. So this is the old Maybelline Extra Hair Twin Eyebrow. And of course, I got blonde. And I would use these till they got down to just a little bit of a nub. So let's go in and do my brows. I completely colored them in. There was no feathering. I didn't have a spoolie. For my blush, I used whatever was usually on sale, but it was normally either Maybelline or CoverGirl. And I would just pick up one of these little um, cheek things. And this is going to kill you. I actually used this little brush that came with it. Yep, I did. So let's load that brush up and get some color on their cheeks. Oh, that's blending out so well. Okay, ooh, look at that. There was no contouring, there was no highlighter. And then I would take this all the way up inside my face little bit up on my eyelid can you use this as an eyeshadow as well so there we are we're almost done guys because i have to go in with two eyeshadows um, again i always had my gold and then i get a brown so let's open these up Again, this little sponge applicator is what I used, and I would simply tap into the brown. This went in my crease. So I would do that, and we can't lose the little applicator, of course, because I needed that. 
and then for my lid I did gold. And I couldn't even find the same shade of gold that I always wore before. This was as close as I could get. So let's take our little applicator, load that up with some beautiful gold. And we're going to go all over the lid with that. All over the lid. Not sticking very good at all. Okay. Now, at that time, I used a different brand of brown eyeliner, and that was a Maybelline one that since then I developed an allergy to. So, I'm going to go in with this NYX one. It was the same color, and I am going to go under my eyes. what I did. And then for mascara, I used the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. If you've never used this one before, which you probably have because it's been around forever, you would have one and that is a primer, and I always would bend my brush a little bit. So I have the primer on one end and the mascara on the other. And again, oops, go in and bend that. I didn't own an eyelash curler, so and my eyelashes were nowhere as long as they are now because I definitely wasn't using Care Pros back then. So let me go in and put the primer on first. Oh my God, this is bringing back so many memories. That's back in the days when I could do my makeup easily in under five minutes and be out the door. So, okay, I'd always give a little bit of time for that to go ahead and dry. And I would go in with Blistex on my lips. And I don't have any Blistex, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of my black, or Jack Black lip stuff. Oop, I'm be there. And I'd have probably five or six different tubes of the green Blistex. Have some in my purse, some at work, some at home, all throughout the house. I was constantly putting that stuff on my lips. So, all right, now that we've had a chance for that to set up, let's go in and put some mascara on these eyes. All right, guys, that completes the look. This is how, again, I used to do my makeup. Same thing, day in, day out for 20-some years. And this is a more updated version of what I do with my makeup. So you can see I have changed quite a bit over the years. I went from owning just a tiny little bag that I could put everything in one little pouch and easily carry it all in my purse to... You know, you've seen the hordes of collections of stuff I have. So I have become a makeup junkie, obviously. It's never too old to change, and that's the one thing I wanted to share with you guys. It's never too late. Doesn't matter how old we are getting, I'm going to be 58 in just another few weeks, and I don't care. I don't care if I'm going to be 78 or 88. I am going to continue to try and do things and enjoy it, I'm not 20 anymore. I don't want to look 20. I don't want to look 30 and I don't want to look 40. I want to enjoy my age where I'm at and I want to make myself look as good as I possibly can. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and I would love to hear how did you used to do your makeup? When did you get into makeup? Because I never really even got into wearing this much stuff until I was way later in life. When I was in high school, 
I was on the dance team both my junior and senior year, and I'd wear makeup when we had competitions because they would just put tons of everything on you at that point in time. But other than that, you know, maybe a little bit of mascara, but that was really it. I just never got into it until like, I was probably in my early 20s when I started to wear just a little bit of makeup. And it seems like the older I get, the more I wear, right? So anyway, that's the look. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the bell notification. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Plus, of course, if you have any questions, comments, of course, I'd love to hear how you guys used to do your makeup. Please leave those down below as well. So until next time, I love y'all and bye-bye.